Thanks for staying with us. Okay, National Mac and Cheese Day. You know that is a day. Absolutely. It is Sunday, but we are not missing that. I don't care that we do not film <laughs> on the weekend. We celebrated early. Carson's Food and Drink is here to help us celebrate. I'm sure you've probably been there if you live in Les Lexington. The restaurant brings Lexington to life by good. combining Kentucky Brown products with the new and exciting recipes. We have executive chef Larry here with us today. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, thank you for inviting us. You can't go wrong bringing macaroni and cheese somewhere. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you were instantly the fan favorite when you walked in. <laughs> thank you. Mac and cheese. This is not your average mac and cheese either. No. Um, this is beautiful. I go online sometimes and do some very excessive, extensive research uh -huh. on things like who has the best mac and cheese. Yeah. Valid. Carson's comes up quite frequently. Why is that? Uh, we put our heart into it. I mean, we take our smoked Gouda cheese, make a, a nice creamy cheese sauce out of it, uh, finish it off with some truffle oil on top. Uh, we get a full wheel of Parmesan in-house and shred it down ourselves. And on this wow. one here, we uh, have pork belly. Our pork belly takes us three days to make it. Really? We brine it for 24 hours in a bourbon sorghum brine. We bring it out, we uh, season it and let it set for 24 hour season. And then we wow. cook it off in the oven and let it set at room temp to at rest. And then we chill it overnight and it's ready the next day. This is definitely not your boxed mac and cheese. This in is case a meal. You can't. Not at all. <laughs> this is a meal. This is not a side. <laughs> there's cheese on cheese on cheese. We're going to try it. Well, we try it. There's no judgment, trust me. All right. We, we've already heard so much. Tell us a little bit more about Carson's itself, the restaurant. It's so fantastic. You guys have such a wide array of menu items. And the atmosphere is oh. awesome. Yeah. Uh, we love jazz. And uh, Mark, the owner, basically describes it as if Ralph Lauren walked into a bar. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I like and that's that. basically what we go for. We want everybody to feel welcome when they walk in our door. You don't have to be dressed up. You can come in, sh you know, your shorts. You can come in a dress, whatever you want. We want you to be welcome when you walk in our door. I'll never look at Carson's the same now. I'll be like, and Ralph Lauren's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just distracted by this. This is magic. Now, did you go for the pork and the Yeah, noodles? I did it all. You got to get it all. And it was awesome. So what sauce wow. is, on, is on the port? It's a smoked Gouda cheese sauce. Okay. And the brown stuff? The brown sauce is a sriracha bourbon barbecue. That's it. That's it's just the cheese that's alone. Is That's not a normal cheese. That's amazing. You can amazing. tell it's fresh and yeah. not we in a get box. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just save this right here. <laughs> well, other than macaroni and cheese, you have a lot of other things that you serve. Yeah. Are you doing a seasonal kind of summer menu now? Uh, we're messing around with some specials that we're running, but uh, we try to stay where we're at right now. Okay. Um, everybody seems to love our uh, salmon Oscar and our filet medallions. Can't go wrong with our New York strip. Ooh, so or anything on the menu. Oh, the ahi pokey is probably my favorite appetizer oh, we have. So good. Oh, I've, I've had, had that. that. I've yeah. had the, oh, the brie platter. <laughs> What's on the brie again? The brie, the bourbon pear chutney. There you go. It's so good. It's my go-to. Oh. Well, Larry, you come up with a lot of these dishes along with Mark. What's your inspiration behind what you're cooking? What makes us, uh, we put into it what made us feel good, I guess, growing up. What, what touched you, what you remember, you put that into your dishes and people really take to it. They can tell it's something that you put your heart into, and that's what keeps people coming back. Which is probably, as a restaurant, one of the hardest things to, to get people in the door. People want to try out the places, exactly. but to have them consistently come back again and again. Once you make them feel wanted and they accept your concept, you can please them every time. I like that. What is your favorite thing to cook on the menu? Uh, the cook, probably the filet medallions is a good dish. I mean, you get asparagus, you get your Bernay sauce we make in-house, and our Bernay sauce is pretty much different than everybody else's. It's more of a tart flavor to it. Uh, then, like I said, the ahi pokey is my favorite appetizer. All right, well, that's, I'm putting, uh, can I put in a saved order for that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell us about your background as a chef. How'd you get into it? Uh, I've been cooking basically since I was 14. I was a sous chef at uh, Boone Tavern for a little while. I worked out at Coach House when it was here in town. And then I joined up with another restaurant called The Pub here in town and worked yeah. with them for nine years. That's where I met Mark. Okay. And then we went our own ways. We both left The Pub and then he came up with this concept and got a hold of me and we sat down and talked. 
It's the perfect combination of southern, but yet it's a little something more, I think. Definitely. With that jazz music, I still have the Ralph Lauren <laughs> image in my mind. <laughs> well, tell us, where are you located? What are your hours? Do we have to make reservations? All that good stuff. Uh, on busy nights, Friday and Saturday night or Sunday morning, definitely reservations would be preferred because you might be standing around for a while. Right. Uh, we're at 362 East Main Street, right down from uh, Thoroughbred Park, right across the street. Uh, Monday through Friday, we open at 11.30. Saturday, Sunday, we open at 10 for brunch. Nice. So you can even do lunch there. Oh, definitely. Fantastic. All right, make those plans right now. Make those reservations. And please, please, for us, celebrate Mac and Cheese Day. Go to Carson's on Sunday. Try this because it is fabulous times a zillion. Thank you so much for being here, Larry. Thank we you appreciate for it. We really do. Ahi tuna. Ahi tuna poke. Making it's a long list. It's a long list of things <laughs> that you got to eat there. All right, well, check it all out. Stay with us. Midday will be right back. We're just going to keep eating.